Behind every great promotion should sit a great set of terms and conditions. They're really important because that is the contract with the consumer. Marketers might want to spend more time on headlines and great visuals, but spending time and energy on your terms and conditions can save you a lot of pain in the long run. What people often forget is that your terms and conditions are the focal point, the key legal area of your promotion, and getting that right is really important. Being the blueprint for the promotion, the terms and conditions should explain really important information to the consumer. How do you enter? What are the entry dates? What are the closing dates? What might you win? And what do you have to do in order to be eligible to claim that prize? At Promo Veritas, we have drafted thousands of terms and conditions for a range of promotions. Here are our top 10 best tips. Number one, understand how your promotion is going to work. Capturing that on paper is really important. Number two, consider all key dates and make sure that they work. Number three, consider all the breakpoints. Think about what could go wrong. What can you build into your promotion and your terms and conditions to cater for these possible scenarios before it's too late. Number four, make sure your terms and conditions are written in a really clear way. Make sure they are expressed in a way that any consumer who reads them will understand them. Avoid complicated words or terms that might mislead or confuse consumers. Number five, don't be tempted to use an old set of terms and conditions or someone else's. You need to draft a fresh set for your promotion and for your brand. Number six, use clear signposting in your terms and conditions, subheadings, numbering, and subnumbering. This breaks the thought pattern down and makes it easier for a consumer to read. Number seven, stick to clear language that can be easily understood. And remember, you could even be handling translations later on. And if you do, being overly complicated will make this more difficult. Number eight, finding the balance between writing in a way that is too formal and on the other hand, too informal can be difficult. What you need to do is consider the consumer, making sure that they can understand things all the way through the document. Additionally, if you have legal terms that you need to put in, make sure they're written as simply as possible and only explain them if you really have to. Number nine, now that you've got a good handle on all the information that needs to be in your terms and conditions and how you're going to draft them and you've grappled with key areas, you need to identify the significant conditions. These are your summary terms. These need to be clearly placed across all marketing communications and deal with all the most important areas of your promotion. Number 10, make sure that your full terms and conditions are easy to find and are accessible across your marketing communications, your packaging and on your website and your entry pages. They need to be easily found. Keeping your promotion free from risk is really important, and we do that really well at Promo Veritas. If you need help with the drafting of your terms and conditions, please come to us for help. Whether this is for a simple UK-based prize draw or a complicated multi-country on-pack promotion, talk to us. Let's run it right.